All right, episode 114 coming at you. Christian Michael right here. You over there. I'm recording this the night before my wedding. So uh, if I'm a little jittery slash nervous, not getting my words out as well as I normally do, uh, now you know why. I'm going to upload this in the morning. You guys can watch it, and I'm going to go get married. Sound like a good deal? Hey, <laughs> I don't got... I ain't backing out now, so you guys don't back out either. All right. So I know in episode 113, I said I was going to review a wrestling figure. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Instead, we're going to open up my mail, and you're going to watch me. I got my water bill. I got my cable bill. I might even write a check. I'm not really sure yet. Just kidding. I uh, got two packages from eBay, one from Amazon. We're going to open them up, and we're going to find out what's in them. Uh, I know I got a couple pops, a couple Blu-rays in there, so let's let's see what the goodies are. First up, we got a box from the Bay. Boom. The Bay. B-A-Y. Kids need to cut that shit with that B-A-E shit. Bay. You're my Bay. No, it's not. People don't, people don't find that endearing. Like, you kids, you guys don't get it. Just don't, you just don't get it. I have no idea I've rented about that a couple times. It's just very annoying. Let's see what we got in box number one. And it is a white Goodman pop from Dodgeball. Yes. All right. So there you see. There are just two pops in the Dodgeball set. Peter LaFleur played by Ben Vaughn, And White Goodman played by um, Ben Stiller. White Goodman of the Global Gym Purple Cobras. If you've never seen this movie, you really need to get it together. I didn't even know that they made these pops, uh, and I was just on eBay looking for something else, and I saw this, and I was like, dude, I gotta get it. I really wanted to get the Peter LaFour pop, because uh, I like, I don't know, I just thought it would be cool to have, but I just don't, if you see it there, I just am not in love with the whole ambiance of the figure i guess you would say uh whereas um this white goodman one they really they nailed the hell out of it they really did i think they did a phenomenal job with it so let's take him out see what he is here he's got a little scuff marks on his eyes kind of dirty man it smells fine but over a little dirty you can see he's got some excellent detail there He's got his dodgeball in hand, and you can if you get in close enough. He's, you know, how dodgeballs have the little squares and ribs on it. Got it. It's not just a uh, rubber red ball. Here you can see the purple cobra on his chest, the G for Globo Gym, the great mustache. He's got this wavy hair on the back there on his bandana. He's even got the knot tied. The cobra on the back. I mean, this is stellar. When I saw this, I knew I had to get it. It. it one of my I just opened it and it's already one of my favorite pops so there you go boom white goodman box number two from the bay knife let's not cut ourselves before uh, the big day tomorrow let's not have any injuries here we don't need any hospital trips and in box number two we have the daredevil Yes, Daredevil, you want to take a look on the back, you also have the Daredevil Mass Vigilante when he's just started out, all black, Wilson Fisk, and Matt Murdock, boom, I uh, just finished season two on Netflix uh, yesterday, or what was yesterday, yeah, yesterday, I guess we could say, wasn't as in love with it as I was with the first series, uh, first season, but still pretty good. Uh, just a little bit too much going on with Electra and the Punisher. And again, since this is a Marvel pop, it is a bobblehead. Don't I, I would like to know the reasoning why Marvel's pops are bobbleheads. Again, let's, but there you go. Some great detail on his red and black suit there. As you can see, he's got his nightsticks. Let's take a look at the back there. The Devil of Hell's Kitchen. Great pop to add to the collection. Still really, I mean, the show is still really good this season. Um, but God damn, can I, I really can't stand Foggy and Karen, dude. Like, they need to go. Like, over there, just go, like, 
make a guest appearance on House of Cards or something because I don't watch that show. But, jeez, those two have got to go. Like, their whiny bitchness is just killing me. Like, like I don't understand. This is what I don't understand, right? In every one of these shows or movies where the dude's like a vigilante or a superhero or some shit and his best friend or girlfriend finds out that he is and they get all like upset and shit and I'm, I'm, I'd be like, dude, if one of my best friends came to me and he's like, yo, I'm the devil of Hell's Kitchen I go out and I fuck people up every night I'd be like, dude, that's fucking sick. Like, dude, I'm friends with that guy. That's awesome. And so this guy's like, oh, man, I'm foggy and I'm stupid and I have stupid hair. And Ugh. Just, I can't deal. I can't deal with them. Anyway, now here we go. Last, got the big box from Amazon. This has been a crude over a couple months here. You know, you just order stuff and... One day, you'd be like, ah, I don't have to pay for it right now because it's on pre-order. And then all of a sudden, all the pre-orders come and you get like hit with like a $200 credit card bill. So, that's always awesome, right? But, it should all be pretty cool stuff. Let's see what's in here. We have some packaging bubbles. Always love that, right? First up, dude. I'm not even kidding you. There's one t-shirt, one pop, and three Blu-rays. And they stuck it in this big-ass box. Like, why? Can you see it? The Joker. In the Dark Knight. No, it's kind of old. The movie's been out, what? 2008, what, eight years ago? Take another look at it there. That's on me. Sorry for letting that, letting that get a little weird over there. I'm just looking at it. I'm not in love with the with the graphic, it's, uh, it doesn't, it looks like somebody printed it off a computer. But I used to have this shirt when I was not as big as I am now. And, uh, and I got bigger and I couldn't wear it anymore because it was only a medium. So, I don't know, I finally found this the other day and decided to order it. I know you guys are getting tired of looking at the back of this black t-shirt, but something about the graphic is bugging me. It almost looks like it was printed, like I said, it almost looks like it was printed off a computer. But still, I like the shirt. We'll deal with it. Speaking of things that are really old, we have Batman from the Dark Knight Trilogy. There you go, pop. You can see the other ones in the set there. You got the Joker and the Joker Bank Robber. I have the Joker Bank Robber. I really dig that one. I don't have this Joker, and it's because I just I just don't like the head scan on it. Those eyes are just those eyes are just killing me. I don't know what took me so long getting a bat uh, pop from uh, the Nolan trilogy, but I did, and finally got around to it. So there you can see it right there, Batman and all his. I'm Batman glory. So there you go. Batman. Then you guys probably want to see the Blu-rays that I picked up. Straight out of Dudleyville. Probably watch this tonight since I won't be doing much sleeping. Countdown. Be be before you say anything, the trailer where Rusev has a gun, it was one of the most probably, I don't think it was meant to be funny, but I was laughing my ass off. And it should be a corny, like, 80s type action movie, but, hey, sometimes we like those, right? So, for what I paid for it and the fact that it only runs 90 minutes, it's probably harmless. It'll be over before you even know it started. Uh, a lot of other WWE superstars are featured because the plot revolves around uh, something... Yeah, it's Countdown is the first ever WWE Studios film to shoot and include live event footage. Because it, it takes, you know, there's something going on during the WWE live event. So, this should be, it's rated R. So, maybe you'll see some blood. 
No titties because it doesn't say sex. And last but not least, Teen Titans versus Justice League. Boom. Take a look at the synopsis on the back. The DC uh, Animated Universe does a fantastic job with these movies. Um, Marvel, I don't even think Marvel makes them anymore. And when they did, they didn't touch DC. So, uh, I I am really anti highly anticipating the release of The Killing Joke. which should be coming out in uh, summer or fall, I think. Um, it's going to be rated R, and there will be no kitty version of it. So, sorry kids. Sometimes, you know, you got to have stuff for adults, man. And... Uh, I have not read The Killing Joke, but I know enough about it to know that this is probably going to be one fucked up movie, and I cannot wait to see it, so, here we go. Should be pretty good. Last couple ones have been, uh, have been good. Some of them, some of the really good ones are Under the Red Hood, um, Dark Knight Returns, um, a couple of other Justice League movie ones, like uh, Doom, is also pretty good. So, overall, uh, DC does a really good job with their animated movies. So, even if you're disenfranchised with some of their live-action tilts, definitely, if you're a fan of, like, Batman and Superman, definitely check out their uh, animated movies, because they usually deliver the goods, even though uh, a lot of the recent ones have come out, um, Son of Batman, Batman vs. Robin, uh, with Damian Wayne, the son of uh, Talia Ghul and Bruce Wayne. Uh, the last couple ones have been centered around that. And this one has got uh, Damian Wayne as part of the Teen Titans. So you got that all, uh, you know, little in succession, I guess you would say, that they're starting to follow each other instead of just randomly releasing movies. Although The Killing Joke probably will not be following in this lineage here. So, um guys i'm tired i need to go lay down uh it's 10 to 11 here on the east coast uh you guys will see this in probably 10 to 12 hours i'll have it up and i'll be on my way man i'll be on my way to tying the knot that was me tying the knot um it's been a wild ride it really has been. But this will... I know I keep changing the narrative on what I'm doing with this uh, series here. But this will be the last one for uh, a couple of days at least. Until I figure out what the hell's going on and I get situated and uh, whatnot. So, again, thank you to everybody that sent well wishes about the wedding. You know, very much appreciate it. Um, so you got to see me open up some of my mail. Took a review of three pops, got some Blu-rays, a kind of art project t-shirt, but you can't win them all, right? So, good night. Thank you. And follow me on Twitter at Christian underscore 973.